This is great. This is perfect. We're getting wild right off the bat. All five defenders coming down the staircase. I have never seen this before. They had better win this fight because they're all here. Boxy getting a kill frozen with the follow-up. <laughs> oh, oh no. If you get everyone here, at least go for the fight and try and win it. Not one at a time. It's going to be a nice trade there. Snappy will get one on Frozen. And now the bomb is down, and this round got even more awkward. Even if you thought it wasn't possible, it certainly is. Snappy's low on health, but with Dupree and that USP, I mean, he could win this one versus two even if he needed to. Yeah, but I think th that's a nice trap set up by Astralis. The unfortunate part is Mouse Sports now knows where these last two players are. They know both of them are going to be in the staircase. Rops needs to come behind. Dupree has his tension taken away. Missed shot initially for Rops, but he's found it. And Snappy with 5 HP must be perfect. And the flashbang is a real rough start. And there's no way out of this. It's a battle to the death, and Rops is going to win that as well. But the footsteps, the footsteps force him back. Got that. Oh, and he sh that's a fight he needs to win. I mean, if he does, it's hard for him to swing up and get more kills, but that actually does leave the A-bomb side in a lot of trouble. Even if he just stayed alive, it would have probably been a bit better. Magus with a fantastic double kill, and he's going to swing for more. I can't believe he's still fighting it. Now back up is here, and Astralis might have a very good chance. The bomb is down. Mouse Sports, I don't know how they don't win this. This is three on five that they're about to throw away. Low on health, and with the bomb dropped in front of the site. It's all on Frozen. Waxic is being passive so he can save the off if need be. That's a perfect flashbang. Good find, but not the kill. What a huge hold from Snappy. And I don't know if Wokzik wants to go for this. He's got no HP. The AWP is going to be valuable. We saw the pick it provided, even in a losing effort. He can drop a weapon over as well, but he's going to stick around for far too long. He gets to have that weapon without reinvesting. All of Mouseport's heading over towards him as well. Good opening kill from Waxik this time with the AK-47. Now pushing in. There is still that AWP, but he's got to be mindful of short sewers. Turn to the corner. Another big kill and another big miss from Device. Oh, Kerrigan and Frozen will just follow it up. And I mean, that was just a cleanup part. They pretty much had the bomb side already. And... But Device missing two shots early on with the AWP that, that you'd imagine he'd normally hit. Waxik has been able to find the opening pick in straight duels against him twice now. We saw a helmet just walk underneath that wooden plank. Rops is going to challenge. I think that's a team flash. That's very awkward for Rops. Snappy not taking a wide angle, though. Big kill for Magus. And Rops didn't commit with it. I don't know if this was supposed to be a fake or some kind of aggression, but one-on-one -on -one fights across the map for Mouse Sports. I mean, no trades. And Astralis is looking good. Headshot angles for Rops or flush someone into his crosshair for an easy kill. Obviously, none of that works out well at all. It's a three-round lead for Mouse Sports. Oh, I don't think it does. Right under the flower bed. There's the flash bang in. What a great return from Woxic. He could have just as well gone down. I mean, even if he just misses the shot, but he's not ready for a second. And I don't know why he would be. That's... I'd be... I'm... Yeah. I'm mad on behalf of Woxic. Now it's all on Magus, and it's all on Yugi. Magus got the perfect position to get a kill here. Oh no, Robs! Able to land a headshot. That's absurd. Good return from Yugi, and that may stabilize things a little bit. It was about to get out of control. Yugi dropping a bit low. Nine seconds, and the bomb is going to be planted here. Running in close, and one at a time. That's not quite what you want. Snappy will take down Frozen, and Robs low on health, and the grenade will take care of him. Great job from Snappy. Three kills on him. Guess we'll have to pay attention even more. Device getting flashed and running back. They're coming for him. Almost catching him. Now oh, there's the headshot. Back of the head. And Snappy now wants to follow it up. The Molotov behind him. There's going to be a guy waiting there. That is so smart from Woxig. Now he will get returned upon by the bomb site. No, the bomb is back there. Oh, God. This round is just spun into complete chaos here. It's, it's all good. The timing is so messed up. And Rops is just surprising Dupree from behind. And it's all quickly down to Yugi. What a change of pace for Mouse Sports. Yugi's going to save his AWP, and the money is not looking good for Astralis either. So Mouse Sports going to extend this lead. Four players survive for them as well, so they're still flush with cash. A really bad fight for Snappy no matter what. Device out on long, going to get one kill. Deep grenade goes in, but just to try and set up a little bit. Dupree forced into the fight, and the flames will catch him at the end, even if he got that kill. Magus just well aware that someone could be down here, and Robs is going to be careful. If he runs too much here, yeah, Magus heard that. He's going to turn around and be ready for the fight. So a two-on-two, two and the bomb is not planted yet, just now getting into position. Device sneaking around, and yeah, they're going for a smart bomb plant position here, not exposed to Device. 
But can they get out from this bomb site? Are they going to be stuck on it? Frozen and Warpsick. If they can win this round, all the money gone for Astralis and a big chance all of a sudden for Mouse Sports to really cement this first half. Oh, peeking right in. I think he wanted to shoulder peek that, but Device Rocksteady not showing himself and not firing that gun too early. And now Warpsick in a one versus two. Can he do this? No kills in the round yet. He's going to miss a shot there oh, and no. actually bounces into the bank. And that's a bit awkward. Three seconds on the defuse and a nice shot. One second. No! Oh! What a play coming out! I mean, only really building a, a tiny bit of economy throughout this game and just continuously struggling. And those are some of the reasons why, and they might go for it. They've got two inside of the monster tunnel. Yugi gonna go and fight, but he goes down. That, that's probably the round done unless they can catch Frozen with the bomb, but... Wow. That's an easy round to win. Two kills separately, no real response maybe 20 times because I was trying to do some content around it and so I I sort of familiarized myself a lot with both those teams and and even though this is not the same Astralis we're certainly we're certainly not seeing it just yet 10 to 3 as Mouse Sports try and go for the B bomb side all of them coming through the monster tunnel Frozen lurking on the other side Rops going down the heavy hitter for Mouse Sports here taken out of the fight early on so that's an important kill from Yugi and now surely calling in a little bit of teamwork or a little bit of backup here. Magus is holding the uh, sewer tunnel, so he knows no one is coming through there. And that kind of all falls apart for Mouse Sports. They don't actually get anywhere. Yeah, and Device saw Frozen get along that wall, so an easy pick for him. Astralis is going to get to a fourth, surely. It's a two versus five. I really like the play Kerrigan was trying to make, jumping over the toxic barrels with the smoke there, but a tick of the Molotov gave the sound cue away, and Magus gonna only get the one. Bit of a scrappy fight, Chris J dropped by Dupree. And they almost made a comeback, they almost uh, ended up, you know, running it back on the T side. So I wouldn't underestimate Astralis, even though I, again, could be worse this time, but definitely their CT sides on the pass have been tested before. A little bit of a swing for Kerrigan, and again, a good opening. Magus burning, oh. and he has to reveal his position over on that side, and Frozen will just be able to pick that kill up. Now it's a two-on-two, good swing, and Dupree nearly getting a double kill. Device on the other side, he has an HE, that would do it. I'm not sure if he's got the confidence to try and throw it. Where's the Molotov going to go for Frozen? When does he deploy that? Device does have a smoke to put it out of. It's on top of the bomb. But there not, might not be time for this. I think Device at this point just has to smoke off the bomb and go for oh. it. Frozen wheels it perfectly. Instant headshot onto Device. The sound cues the whole way. That's something special. And this is a nice way to get close without any information just yet. And it's finally spotted. Chris J, I think, sees it there. Now it's a little bit late. He's blind. He's falling back. This is high octane from Astralis. Woxic, there's Chris with a headshot, and Woxic will continue. Oh, ho, ho. oh my Taking dear out God. three players, all of them single taps. That was a truly spectacular round from Woxic so far. And Snappy, they're even giving him a little bit of a, you know, gentleman's treat. I mean, they're fighting him one at a time. They should, they should do that. They should say, you know what, just one at a time, go fight him. There was, I think, a counter flash, I'm assuming, from Mouse Sports that blinded everyone. Snappy gets double peaked impossible to actually be inside a B and not get flashed by it so smokes i'm not so sure i'm uh, gonna be as impressed good start here though from device and the follow-up and not really the smokes but the deagles certainly doing a lot of work and it helps that they can put the bomb down behind that sniper spot has been smoked off as well now they've taken a famas and an mp9 and i don't know ooh, good shot on ooh. device at least but still this is gonna be a very rough retake they have a kit at least but no grenades We'll see. Moving their way in pretty quickly here. Half health on Woxic. So for the Deagles, he's not going to be much of a challenge. And well, neither will Chris. <laughs> well done. <laughs> what a shot from Magus. That was, that was filthy. He's going to get Woxic at the end as well. A quad kill for Magus in the round. Who knows? They're coming in for a little bit more. So now it's, you know, slightly favoring Astralis, I would say. There's the first challenge. The Deagle on the other side. Good shot from Woxic, but Yugi... Not even a little bit uh, pressured there. Good handling with the AK-47. And now it's a two on three. Bomb far back. Snappy is about to go and check out B and find it empty. But oh, that's a nice pick off from Carrigan. He just had the perfect timing. I think Dupree was just checking it. Yeah, it's time to stop walking. Carrigan is right there with the Deagle. And it's not going to make that one work. So now it's on Frozen. Yeah, but he's got an AK-47. He's got armor and a Molotov as well. If he can hustle into here and get an early one-on-one -on -one battle, he's just got to do it quietly is the problem. Mm, half, even if they've, you know, lost a couple of rounds here, still managing to put up a bit of a fight. 
like a 16-12 type affair, I can see. Kerrigan with a little bit of an attempted spray. Good follow-up from Frozen. Dangerous if they would have got the kill on him too. Now the bomb is on the wrong side of the monster tunnel for Astralis to try and really fall back. Maybe they could pick it up, but it's still, it's cost them a lot already. Good return. Oh, Magus, that's a nice double headshot. And that will clear the whole way through Chris J and Woxic fighting to stay alive in the round, but that was the last chance they had right then and there. What a ridiculous comeback for a Magisk. Yeah, I mean, that's a pretty standard fight setup. You could see, I believe Frozen was probably calling for a flashbang like we saw them miss time previously in the second round. If they have success getting into bomb sites, so Mouse Sports need a couple really comprehensive victories to start feeling more comfortable on this. That's a good start. Chris J with the opening pick. Double op setup already coming into play. Woxic has the other one, so both of them are at the A bomb site. And here's the attack. Dupree's leading the way. No one was watching Sandbags. Kerrigan's gonna go Ooh. down. So is Rops. Dupree has finally showed up on this map, and he's gonna get Astralis up to 10 because this cannot be a retake. These ops cannot be risked when someone runs that deep with no resistance whatsoever. And that was like a, that was a reaction, right? Device goes down to Chris over on the other side. Yeah, well, like we said, rat plays do often pay off, so. Got some smokes coming in, one flash bang, but not gonna do anything to Woxic. He's gonna try and Molotov <laughs> off the tunnel, but they're gonna keep going, running right through Yugi and Kerrigan, right next to each other. Woxic finally goes down, but do they even realize there's Yugi with the fight? Robs will take him down, and Kerrigan would have been there either way. 29 seconds, and a good chance here for Mousesports to bring it back. Chris with a shot on device, and now it's snappy. One versus three, no bomb plant, and he's not gonna have a chance. Nice shot from Robs. Give away that position. 25 seconds as Chris goes down to Magus, and that's a little bit of an issue. Rob's close. Can he stop this push coming in? He's going to get the one kill. 19 seconds on the clock, and now the swing from Long as well. Woxic missing another chance. He's going to get that one on device, and that's a big kill. Yugi coming in with a bomb, but now the rotation is in. Mouse Porter at the bomb side. Yugi overwhelming Woxic finally. They're not expecting Kerrigan. Four seconds. He's going to swing and spray it down. What a great double kill for Kerrigan and Mouse Porter. The money that you spoke of earlier, they had to dig into it even further. It's good that they were able to do that, but now they actually need the win here. It's Dupree again opening up into the site. What a great resource to have. Dupree and Magus have been getting amazing entry kills down here. Chris showing up with the AUG. The man who could just use every weapon there is in the game. And he's going to continue. What a, what a fantastic defense here. Two on two. Oh, the grenade! It landed <laughs> right on top. Woxic has the right idea. Looking around the right side, he hasn't spotted Magus just yet. This is as close as can be. What a peek from Magus. No chance for a response from Woxic. Back in here, Chris. Yeah, this would be the perfect time. He's going to wait for it, throws it down, and it does a tiny bit of that. Actually, a lot of damage there on Snappy. Not so bad. Still have uh, another few coming in, but they don't do nearly as much, so it doesn't mean the round is over yet. Chris will go down. 24 seconds, and the bomb is being attempted. That boost getting caught. Yeah, that was, I think, a bit obvious at that point in time. Yugi with a good one, and they're going to clean it all up here. Kerrigan gets dropped, and nothing is saved. Quad kill for Device, and 13 to 14. Five seconds. There is a Molotov on Chris as well if he gets back here, but he's going to be far away. 22 seconds, pushing in, and there's another entry for Dupree. He just keeps doing it over and over again. 15 seconds on the clock. Frozen will take a kill, and in swings Dupree for more headshots. Woxic will get one in return. 10 seconds on the clock, and Rox is right next to them, but the bomb is being planted here, and Rox, he wants to go for the swing, but not going to be able to stop the bomb plant. He will go through. Still snappy inside in a one versus three, and I don't think he can make it out here. He's so excited exposed behind the pillar and I'm kind of shocked he's still alive I thought maybe the boost would have already caught him got the AK down here and there's the final kill coming through 15 rounds on the board for mouse sports opportunity you don't want to give this one away I mean they have a little bit in the bank in case they lose but really only walks again frozen oh Dupree get big double kill as they no. try and see if they could go aggressive and that's a big way to throw it here Robs Trying to see if he can return it, but he ran out of bullets and Snappy will take him down. Chris inside of the bomb site. Can he make one last heroic stand? He's up on top of the box here. Flash. Oh, and he's just unflashed as they are about to turn the corner. More Molotov training in. They're waiting and Magis. He's seen that before from Chris and he won't fall for it this time. Those two on the Astralis side have been phenomenal on this offensive half. A little missed opportunity for Woxic. And now he's going to get taken out from behind right at the last second. He can rebuy an AWP, but that's a gun he cannot pass over to a teammate. 
Megus pushing in, and he's been great on the entries as well. Chris all the way back there. He's already seen him, but he can't win the fight. Megus again accurate, and that might have been just it. Kerrigan trying to get the kill for the smoke, and Woxit coming in with the AWP. No one behind the box just now. So Yugi and Snappy, every chance right here to bring this into overtime in the very first map. Yugi waiting by the pillar, and he's going to swing for it. Instant takedown of Kerrigan, and now Woxit in a new unwinnable position. One versus two with the AWP, and that bomb is ticking in front of him. He knows that there's going to be two people left, and he can't find either one of them. Yugi with a great double, and that is overtime. Kerrigan's been destroyed by this pop flash a couple times in this game already. Maybe not, actually. He's gonna get a reprieve, but it works anyways. He gets blinded from a different angle. He looked elsewhere, but again, the B-bomb site just feels free. Frozen with the AWP is gonna find the first kill. That's Dupree. Ooh. Oh, right through the box. The nade combination. I don't think that's gonna do it. Almost another spam, but instead it's Yugi. Well, he sees that with the jump, but Megas will still take down Frozen and... I don't know, Rops and Chris in the MR3 here. He's still gonna have to be careful. They wanted to save that AWP, but that's gonna be denied. I, I cannot believe that Astralis has just been able to march into this B-bomb site every single time they've wanted. Now Sports really struggling, even sometimes with four players there, struggling to find the solution. I mean, that could definitely separate them. Fires the orb a bit early, and now they're coming for him as well. He will pick up one kill. Nice shot, great double, and Robs is there to help out. The defense holds. They could have run him down, and that's exactly what they wanted to do. But Chris standing tall. That was a that was a swift couple of kills. Yeah, it is. Robs has a huge role to play. He's at least got to keep them honest on the flank, the wrapper on the bathrooms. But if his teammates have no success coming in, it won't matter. Megus is going to get burned out. Dupree is still close to the corner. Another Molotov. Dupree's running into flames all over the place, but the second one subsides. Good flash. And Kerrigan's going to lead the way in. Robs went down over at long. They actually went to find him. Nice shot from Kerrigan. Dropping the bison. Now Yugi, one versus three. And that bomb is already being defused. He tries to swing for it. Not going to be successful. And that retake was amazing from Mousewatt. I did not see that coming. He, I think he even heard some footsteps behind him. This is weird, and Kerrigan's- Oh my god, he did expect the angle! They've spotted him out, Dupree's in trouble, and he knows he's being wrapped upon, but he's gonna get aggressive. He might think it's only one player, but instead it's three! Dupree goes down, they do have to retake this A bomb site, but they can slow play it. The entire map is now available to Mouse Sports. Wow, man, that might be... I mean, you're right, Kerrigan turning around to see it and calling it out to his teammates, that is huge. He's finally gonna be going down, but the bomb... And the round here should be for Mouse Sports. Two versus one. Talked about this earlier from Astralis. Sometimes you just have to try and, and see if you can clutch it, even if it's low percentage. He's walked up close with the AWP, but Rob's inside of the smoke as it fades. And that is 18 rounds here. And I don't know, they have a Molotov there on Yugi. It's going to be Megas to open it up. Can he get it out in time? No, he's going to be going down. And now, oh, Woxic peeking again and dropping both. Man, he was so exposed. If he misses that shot, he's dead. Device and Snappy now, two on three. And can they retake it? Can they continue it into double OT? That's the big question here. Device with the AWP on one side. It's really awkward for him to have to try and lead this one. So probably Snappy, but he's ready here as well. Woxic a little bit early on that shot relocates to try and look for Device, who's now sneaking in with the AWP. There's a good kill, but he goes down, and now Snappy's in a lot of trouble here. No chance against Robs. 19 to 16 as Mouse Sports finally find a way. Jump past it there. We'll see if that Diffuse kit is going to be something they desperately wish they had had. Deep smokes, and they're flashing their way through from Ivy, and a great fight beginning out here. Megis with a good double headshot, taking down Wox again, Frozen, and oh, not ready for it. Robs was there. I thought actually Megis was swinging back to look at that exact position, but now it's a three on three with the bomb going down. So that Diffuse kit right now, man, it would be worth its weight in gold. They're going to have to move quickly here. Kerrigan covering that line, but he still goes down, and now there's a free opening for Device. Oh, not anymore. Rops closes the door. Device can't get the final. Four kills for Rops in the round. A little bit. Don't want to be too alarmist. Anyway, Snappy getting put to the test. The SMG leading the charge. He's going to get the first kill. He needs some backup. Oh, nicely handled. Even doing some damage on the Chris J. That was, uh, that was a very, very important second kill coming in from Snappy. Giving a good chance now for Astralis in the afterplant. There is a flank coming in all the way from the outside, but it doesn't really matter if this, uh, the rest of the force in here are all going to be dead by the time it happens. It's a default plant, so it's very hard for Frozen to stop them from actually defusing the bomb. 
And here they come, oh. fighting Chris, almost reloading in the middle of the fight. Good enough kill on Yugi. Now Frozen actually showing up. Can he do anything from this range? No, not quite. An expensive round, but they do win it. It's a matter of when do they pull the trigger. Flashbangs are perfect. Snappy has been spotted. He's not going to go down just yet, but Yugi needs to back away because Sidewalk is wide open. Look at Kerrigan. Look how much progress he's made. There goes Snappy. And turning in towards Zia. Oh, good shot from Yugi. He checks it. Kerrigan thought he was going to be sneaky. Thought he was going to get away with a huge, huge piece of map control. And it's denied by Yugi. 4-3 to three right here. And with the bomb already down, it's not such an impossible task. Flashbang set up by Robs and a kill as well by him. There's Woxic actually getting the kill behind the flashbang of Robs. So he did a lot that round. Two on three now. And this retake is looking really rough with the pre going down. Impossible all together. What a great round from Robs. <laughs> three kills. Again, they leave Snappy alone in the beginning, which is against the really, really common. I like this aggressive move from Dupree and Yugi, trying to be aggressive over at main, but Woxic will defeat Device, and look at how he just runs and swings. He's got Frozen there with him. What an aggressive move from Mouseports. I really like that. Oh, they haven't gotten the communication that he's on top of the train. No one's speaking for it. Oh, Woxic late. That's got to be a return from Frozen. Indeed it is, but there's Yugi finally chiming in. And now dropping, but it's going to be Robs to open up towards the inner bomb site. No, you're right, because he could have smoked uh, right away at that C connector, but he's just walked up there. Kerrigan also trying to get a bit of a swing that needed to be a kill, and it wasn't. Now Robs is in a very uncomfortable position. As soon as he fires the gun, they'll know he's down here. He's looking straight up. That's the right move. Nice spray transfer, but again, they are all over it. So they made that somewhat expensive. He Worried about a rush. Two people are popped off there. They're holding quite far forward here at the A site. And Kerrigan will just still run in to get the kill. Nice return from Dupree. And at upper, that's going to be called in surely. Yeah, communication is there. Chris nearly winning the fight, but surely he's dead. Snappy, yeah, he would have heard it the whole time. Ooh, this is weird. Drops needs to deliver, and he gets taken down by Magus. Good shot. Back to the outer bomb site we go. So, almost wish he would have taken a, at least a fight earlier on. Because now it's, uh, you know, four and two, and they're going to be running in here. Frozen, Molotov's away. Now they're on the bomb, and Woxic trying to see if he can swing for it. But again, he can't guess the angle, and that's going to be the defuse inside. So, yeah, a little bit of an issue. Some good kills after the actual bomb plant here. That'll still help out. Uh... Yeah, they might very well have... Device is really far back with it. I don't think it easy to get smoked away. He will get the kill on Chris there, but Chris still a double before he went out of the round. Bomb about to be picked up. Oh, Device will catch Frozen as he tries to get to the bomb. And that's a lot of trouble. Robs, I can't believe he got that kill on Yugi. Now it's a two on two. Woxit gonna go straight for the bomb plant here. Right on the other side. And Rob's ready to guard him if anyone comes through. He's looking all over the place. Another great headshot. Ooh. But through on top of the smoke is Snappy with the kill. And he knows Woxic is back there with that off straight headshot. As they find a fourth round here on the Astrala side. All the money he's been spending this round for mouse bolts. And they're trying to go quick out of dog makers with one good spray down nearly. A follow-up and three will take care of the rest here. Nice double for him. It's a two on three. But, yeah, they've committed to this. Robs can actually escape. Oh, what? my God. That's ridiculous. He was a beast. He was doing a very good job of it on overpass. Here on train, he's getting shut down. Whether it's the unfortunate timing with the pop flash or otherwise, and it's snappy again, left in a clutch. And I imagine Zonic is feeling just as nervous. I imagine it's got to be a new feeling watching clutches when Zipnix isn't on the team. Yeah. Much more, much more pressure. Much Maybe more nerve-wracking. All of all of their opponents, though, are so excited that's not going to be a feature anymore. Robs, I again, what a turnaround here. Two on three. 50 seconds, 55 on the clock. Flashbangs going in. Frozen is all the way on the other side, so he could maybe be a bit of a lurker if they could get the bomb down. And with the kill on Snappy, they probably can. Device, he's going to get wall banged straight from Woxig, not even waiting to peek that. Nice aggressive push on Kerrigan. He could have probably had that kill, and that actually gives a chance for Astralis now. A three on three. Yugi's low on health, but uh, that's not even the main problem. It's all these smokes, and there's even a Molotov on Frozen, and he's all the way on the high ground. They do have a counter smoke on Yugi, but no defuse kits. Yeah, I don't think this is going to be doable. Woxic just posting up on the bomb train. Rops as well. The other conversation around Zip as a player. 
was how he was one of the best inner bombsite defenders in all of train. Nine to four. So we try and continue. Chris caught sleeping. I don't even know. He wasn't even, he was looking at a teammate then. Kerrigan wants to make up for it. Swings again for a kill with an AK-47. And that AWP, I think the gun barrel might be spotted, but doesn't even matter. Device still going down. A lot of damage though on mouse sports here. This could turn pretty quickly. Maybe not. Oh. Walks in his hand again. Field day. It's got to be a trade for Frozen. Magus gets aggressive, and I think he's going to steal this round away from Mouse Sports. Good shot from Snappy as Kerrigan comes through the smoke, but it's all down to the final boss. He's going to have to find one of them pretty quickly without any chance of a reply. So he needs to sort of swing for it. Oh, Magus going to shoot him in the back, and Robs still landing the headshot. Oh dear, I can't believe it. I thought he was dead for sure. And yet this time, shooting him in the back works. It take, takes, uh, you know, a couple of bullets. See if Device is going to be able to stand on his own out here. He's smoke in front of him. He's going to be fading and he swings for it just as the grenade is out. So an important return from Frozen. And it looked like he wanted to keep going and indeed he will. Taking down Dupree second, leaving Yugi and Magus. Can Magus all over at Pop Dog? So really Yugi is the one holding the bomb side right now. And more people could be creeping into it here. Let's see if they can get rid of Magus. He's thinking about it. That flashbang does at least push him back, but he's still got an angle. Oh, what a peak! Again, close line by Robs, and he continues another <laughs> headshot. He is absolutely out of control. 20 and 5 in 15 rounds. And when he turns back around to cover ladder room again, it's just a perfect timing for that pop flash. That's a bit brutal. Snappy in a one versus four. I'm not sure. Woxic never got the communication. There's no kit. He just picks one up off a dead body, but this is desperation. And Chris J is going to finish it off very quickly, very easily. So we'll just have to wait and see how this goes. Snappy gonna drop right down the ladder. Frozen is aggressive. Peak swords team mid. Here's the footsteps. Gets caught in an awkward fight. Wow. Good shots from Chris J and Frozen and Kerrigan. They finally turn it right at the snap of a finger. So again, Mouse Sports gonna win the second half pisser on already with a big lead. And we'll see if this time they can close it out much easier. Man, it felt so... Oh, a knife kill as well on Magus. That's just to make things even worse. I love it, Woxic. Straw started their year at Blast Premier losing to Complexity, being upset 2 to nothing by the Juggernauts, and then losing to Na'Vi, being eliminated from the initial Blast. This is their last chance to stay in this tournament. Yeah, it, it really is. Yeah, I mean, that complexity upset was uh, just bizarre and very cool in a bunch of ways. This is not the start they were looking oh. for. They no, go, they this get is swiped. not a good look. <laughs> Got to keep your hand in the game, I guess, and just keep, keep thinking that there'll be an opening. So, yeah, building a little bit as he's going to be taking down Kerrigan. A lot of people looking at this corner. It's too many, and it's Rops again, of course. Another double kill for him, landing him at 22 and 5. Expectations for that team are, are very, very high with that roster. Fast pace from Astralis, one for one trade. And Chris J now steps up to the plate at E-Box. Dupree knows oh. it. Ooh, what a pre-fire into the re-peak. And look at Woxic. He's got an AWP, but he's walking in here with a Deagle. What is the matter with him? Yeah, I've, he deserved every bit of that. <laughs> Oh, I like this. this! I like this so much, Chris! He's got to press the issue. He's got it. And a quick flank, and Astralis is now trapped. What? Five, and they're still being hyper-aggressive and still just looking to close this out. Bit of a chance for Device. Maybe could have seen someone. Chris will shut down another one. And this is just, I mean, like every one of these last rounds, it's a complete spiral for Astralis. There's nothing to stop the tide here. Two on. That's going to be it. In a matter of seconds, they take them out 16 to 5.